here today to do another YouTube video. Today I will be taking apart this Cobra MFR Viper. Uh, I don't know if you need all these tools. I think you're mostly just going to need this one. Because I'm not going to take the gearbox out. Really, I haven't really decided what I'm going to do. But let's get into it. I could talk about what I'm doing in it. Okay. I have a whiteboard, big one. So you guys can, oops, sorry. So I have a big one so it can be wider and brighter so you can see things better. So, if you want, you can, if you want, you can take your stock of, that's how you take your stock off. Yeah, you can just set that up to the side. And then, it's also hard to do this all in camera. And then take off your foregrip and then you take out your battery. But my battery's right there. So I don't really need to, but I'll just leave this off for saying for sure I have it off. And then next, take your mag out. Mag. <laughs> I think you can see that. Put it up there. I doubt you, can, you can barely see it. Uh, normally you can twist this little bolt right here. It's hard to see, uh, but you can twist this bolt to make this buffer tube tighter, but mine doesn't do that, so you have to just put the screw in here. Which kind of sucks. And then mine, because I don't have par the part in my jam door, my thing just comes right out. My part, jam door. <laughs> I need to get better at doing it in camera. So... That's pretty much every part that you could take off. Well, you could take this off, but I figured you, you don't really need to. Uh, and then the next part you do. This is hard to do positions. Next part you do is push this pin out. This pin. And right there. Also. I like to push it from this side. As far as I can with my thumb. This is a plastic body, just so you know. If you're doing it on a different gun. And then it's kind of popped out. As you can see right there. Kind of hard to tell, but yeah. It's popped out. Then you pull it. And you're holding every. I'm holding everything together so it doesn't spring. And then you can take this bolt. And put it to the side with the rest of your stuff. And then it just... It releases like probably a quarter, half an inch. And then right there, you can see they're obviously not lined up anymore. So I'd put it back down and move this stuff down here again. Uh, and then move it up. Because mine's front wired, it's not going to move very much. And then it's kind of, and then it likes to suction cut to this because it's plastic and now your receivers off buffer tube you need a really long one I think you need a really long screwdriver like this it's gotta be a Phillips head I don't know what number I just go and then you stick it in like this you gotta find right in the very middle I gotta take it off because it takes forever to take off put back on I'm trying to do a real quick video because I'm going to have to leave soon. Uh, and then motor height adjustment. If I want. I haven't shown you guys this. I don't think I have. So there's a little screw right here. Let me pick it up. That little screw is the motor height adjustment. Mine I don't think works on this gun. But you just take your screwdriver. You'll put it in. And then you'll twist it to make it higher, and then you'll just listen to it, like shooting it. So you'd have to plug in your battery. Oops, let me pick this up. Uh, you'd have to do that. Uh, on another video, when I have more time, I'm going to show you how to take your gearbox out, out of the thing. And then 
Also, uh, so I'm sorry I didn't put another gameplay video. Well, not really gameplay. Uh, when I went to Yellowstone to go whitewater rafting, but I was uh, kind of busy. So I apologize on this. And yes, this is a high cap. I love running high caps. That's your proof. Uh, but I'm trying to when I get back tonight. I'm going to try to real quick get this video up. That's the number one priority for you guys. Not have it going up on like Tuesday like last time because it was being really dumb. Get it up on Sunday like I said I'd do. And then I'll start trying to edit all my two hours of, uh, of white water rafting again. Yeah, and then I'm thinking about getting some action camera. It's kind of like the GoPro, but it's not. It's just a lot cheaper. I like the quality of it. It's pretty much the exact same quality. So, you take this, to put it back on, you slide it in, all the way up to where it stops. You can kind of hear a thing. I don't think you can, actually. This is my mic. I think you might be able to see my mic hanging. Nope. <laughs> uh, so I don't have my clip today to make it stay up there. Or a collared shirt. But you can't pull it. A lot of people say, hey, just push it down. You have to pull the whole thing out to slide it in. And then I just, once you get it in a little bit, you can pull it, push it like normal. And get that on. Uh, and then I have fall break this week, so I'm going to try to get a bunch of videos re re pre recorded. For you guys, so I can definitely upload on Sunday. So like, as soon as I wake up on Sunday, I just boom, start uploading. If you guys, and then uh, let's go on. Go ahead and put this uh, uh, front receiver on again. Yes, I am on my bed, so it might be a little shaky, but I don't really have anywhere that's really white. Uh, and actually, you do not want to put this on. Because you want to be able to pull your wire if you're front wired. In my suggestion, if you you like the foregrip up here, you can get them. But get a rear wire gun. They just are so much nicer. Uh, so, putting that on, slide it up. Make sure it's all in. And in back here. And then... I like to pull my wires out so they don't get caught. Push it in again. Grab your bolt. <laughs> kind of. It came out, so I'm gonna put it back in. Maybe, maybe try going out and put it back in there. If it comes out, you just gotta try to figure out some way to put it back on. And then, and then you push it on. It, Make sure the hole lined up, the hole, and shove it in. Then you can plug your battery in if you want. I'm gonna just leave it out for because I'm just storing it right now. I'm not shooting it. And then you put it up here first. Most of you, if you have a front wired gun, would know this. And then you put it against something. You pull the delta ring down and you put it in. Yes, this is called a delta ring. I think. I don't know, some ring of some sort. And then generally, this is already back in, but I took it out because mine is crappy. Uh, yeah, it's a good gun for very, very beginners. I really wish I got a different gun. But, no biggie. Just can't rely on the past and then yes I do not have my carrying handle on it I, I sight so much better and faster without it so obviously this today you did not you need this tool at all this sometimes you need to push these out and then you want to take a mag thing off that's a little tiny screw and then inside you use a ton of little tiny screws to take things off you want to take the mag apart you unscrew it Something, some of them aren't screws, but aren't Phillips like that. Yeah, it, it depends on your gun. And then today, you use this to do the buffer do. You have to make sure this handle is small enough to 
get in the buffer tube, or this is right here, this part, is long enough. Mine's like two inches too short. Uh, uh, and uh, so go like me on my Facebook page and my Instagram at Airsoft Wolves on both of them. Uh, I think I just barely linked them together. Uh, yeah, I've been trying to do the same picture for the post. Because I post a picture every time I hey this video. I think I'm going to start doing trying to do uh, some like posts in between. Like, what's up? What are you guys doing? Like, over fall break or just the weekend. Hey, where are you guys going airsoft? And, and maybe I can go with you. Go find you at an arena. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, and then this, I don't know what I use it for. Obviously, you pull and grab something. <laughs> I don't quite remember. I just know I have. I just keep all these tools together from air with my airsoft stuff, and it's nice and easy to keep together. So this is kind of a vlog and update video, but I'm I'm gonna try to do next time. So, so I'm going camping this weekend also. So I think I'm gonna take all, I'm gonna take all my guns and definitely my pistol. Well, my dad's pistol, the Chief uh, Smith and Wesson Chief Special. Try to do some like damage tests. Uh, definitely the shooting test. Like hit a target probably this big. Like the target in my uh, ten thousand rounds of biodegradable Black Ops thing. Let's see if I can find them. They're right here. It comes with like targets like this big. Uh, they're tiny. They're like you all probably know what. Like literally on a gun, you get all the mags are the same. It's quite literally that big. And then there's five of them. I'll probably rip them apart so I don't accidentally shoot one way low. And then yeah, so that'll probably be in one of the next videos. If not, if I do, uh, if I don't do a gameplay video, which I'm trying to do because I'm trying to get those out because all my friends from. When we went to Yellowstone, we went all white water rafting together. <laughs> they all want to see the video, or they probably forgot. That'd be more likely. And then YouTube, it's easy to share with everyone. And then I can share with my uh, YouTube friends. Uh, start commenting like questions and things you want me to do. You guys haven't really been doing that. You get oh, this is that's a sweet gun or something like that. I appreciate at least comments, but. I don't want to start interacting a little bit more with you guys. Uh, and then like, comment, subscribe, like, follow, comment, subscribe, DM me, PM me, private message me, whatever you want to do on my social media. And then also, first, first thing that you do, go out and air.